Microsoft CPA Exam Study Group, huh? Uh, that one's wrong. <laughs> Uniform CPA examination exists to protect the public interest by ensuring that only qualified individuals become U.S. certified public accountants. I'm a guy who works at NASBA, and this here is a CPA Exam Study Group. Not a bunch of my coworkers that I'm not going to pay to be in this video. As you may have heard by now, the next version of the CPA exam launches on April 1st, 2017. Wait, so you're launching a version of the CPA exam on April Fool's? What is this, a joke? No, but we are making it open book. Really? What? April Fool's Day. The next version of the CPA exam will have an increased emphasis on critical thinking, problem solving, and analytical ability. There will also be a few administrative changes to the exam that I would like to share with you as well. Any questions so far? No? Great. Let's begin. Wait. What about my existing exam credit? You may be asking yourself, wait, what about my existing exam credit? Any combination of past current exam sections and past sections of the next version of the exam will count toward licensure, as long as you have passed them all within 18 months. So, if you passed auditing and attestation in the fourth quarter of 2016 and financial accounting and reporting in the first quarter of 2017, then you won't have to take those sections again once the next version of the exam launches. I do that every time. Oh. We anticipate that many of you are going to rush to schedule to take the current version of the exam before the next version launches. Fortunately, NASBA, the AICPA, and Prometric have agreed to extend the testing window by 10 days beginning in the second quarter of 2016. Oh guys, this 10 day extension will continue through the end of 2017, except for the second quarter next year when next version launches. Seriously though, if you want to increase the chances you'll get the exact date, time, and location you want, you should schedule your test at least 65 days in advance. I want my score, NASBA. Give me my score, NASBA. Stupid clock of doom. The changes in the exam will not impact the average 20-day score release timeline on an ongoing basis. But there will be a slight score release delay during the initial testing window in the second quarter of 2017. And the following two testing windows. To statistically validate candidate performance on the next version of the exam. The next version of the exam will also feature a new break. A standardized 15-minute break will be added to each exam section that does not count against your testing time. Taking the standardized break is completely up to you, but if you choose not to take the standardized break when offered, it will not be offered again. But don't worry, you will still be able to take breaks after completing testlets. However, the testing clock will continue to run during these breaks because they are considered part of the testing process. We will share additional updates on the next version of the CPA exam on NASBA.org, as well as our social media networks as soon as they are available. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to NASBA on Facebook and Twitter, or email us at cpaexam at nasba.org. And good luck on the exam.